Hey, what's up, everybody? Here to bring another review. It's time of the Street Fighter SH figure. It's Ken. So, let's get started. Just like Ryu and Akuma, you have somebody who wears a gi and does Shotokan karate. Uh, these used to be, well, Ken used to be the Shoto clone, but he differs uh, in many ways to Ryu. But in terms of body type, it's going to be the same, actually, as Ryu. It's just that Ken actually has a cleaner look, considering Ken actually, you know, doesn't do the wandering thing like Ryu or Akuma. So his gi is constantly pressed, new. He always gets a new one, things like that. But we're going to get into the differences in a second. Anyway, let's start with the review. Uh, first and foremost, I want to start with the head scope. And this head scope of Ken, it doesn't look exactly like, I wouldn't say Street Fighter V Ken, but it definitely has the, the Street Fighter 2-ish look. Only exception is there's no ponytail. So pretty sure someone would do an add-on kit or anything like that, add a ponytail, or maybe someone will 3D print one. We, we don't know yet, but Ken's overall face is very uh, Street Fighter 2-ish to me, at least in my opinion. It's very nice. It's very simple. It has a thick brown eyebrows or black eyebrows, the blue eyes, the smirk that Ken kind of gives you. As far as the gi, like I said, his is a more cleaner, rounder gi, unlike Ryu's and Ken. I mean, Ryu and, uh, and Goki's Akuma. Uh, Ken's gi actually folds out. There's a butterfly joint that allows you to rotate the arms out. It actually gives you nice rotation here. There's bicep swivel that rotates inside the joint, but not at the cut of the arm. So it actually rotates in. The arms are double jointed. But you get a rotating swivel joint here, like the Kaneko Man series stuff, for the fighting body. But the muscle mass is going to get in the way, so it folds about this far. The wrist is on a ball joint, which rotates around. One thing I do want to add, though, I don't like this color of his gloves. I think that they should come in a, a more browner color. But, you know, this works for what it is. I guess the orange gloves work. But I don't remember Ken having orange gloves. I could be wrong, but it happens. As far as the waist, uh, just like Ryu, you actually get the ab crunch in the lower part of the body. Oh, wait. I'm a little wrong. They actually uh, change it around a bit. So Ken actually has a bit of ab crunch in the ab. And then right here, it only rotates just a little. But there's actually ab crunch in the abs. So I didn't even realize that. So Ken actually does differ. Unlike Ryu, he is ab crunch in his actual ab area. The gi actually rotates here at the side. And as well as a makeshift air belt area, this is all soft plastic to allow you to have articulation in the legs. So just like Ryu, they spread about this far. Legs go forward completely. The legs fold back about this far. And his ankle pivot is actually really nice, as well as the toe pivot. Really, really nice. Ken's height is that of a normal Street Fighter figure, and we'll see more about that in the size comparison. But real quick, let's talk about... Uh, Ken's actual features and the things he comes with. So let's put Ken in a fighting body pose to make sure he looks good. No point having a fighting body if you don't use it, right? So Ken actually poses very easily. He can hold the pose very well. Looks really good to me. Now, Ken is actually very simple, especially for Street Fighter characters. Uh, Ken doesn't come with much. You get Hadouken hands or open palm hands, depending on how you want to use them. But I'm going to call them Hadouken hands. You get these. And then you get Ken's signature taunting hand. Really cool. I wish he would have came with flat open palms, but he didn't. So not much I can do about that. Ken also comes with two extra faces. That being Ken's smirking face, which I think teeth-wise, it's a little brownish to me. Uh, and maybe the eyebrows are a little off-center. But overall, it's still actually pretty cool. Just think the teeth look a little weird. And his yelling head. Now, the yelling head looks terrible here, but when you place it inside the plate for Ken, it actually doesn't look half bad. Because when you look at it alone, it looks crazy. So let's actually put this in. So as you can see, it looks a lot better here. Makes his face a little bit more elongated, but it actually does look a ton better than it does by itself. Let's put the normal uh, static face. I like this. I like this Ken a lot. But then again, I like the Ryu, so it works out. Then we have the Shoryuken effect. Now, the effect does technically doesn't work on both hands, but you can make it work. But it's meant for the right arm. So when you want to extend for a Shoryuken... It actually works in plain sight. 
looks pretty nice. It's a nice translucent red that goes with most fire effects. So if you want to do uh, other super moves like Shimpu, Genre Kaku, or, or other moves like that, it's totally possible with added on other flame effects. Let's get Ken in a nice pose. Real quick, now that we've gone over everything that Ken comes with, because it's actually pretty simple, we're going to go over size comparisons. Now, this one is going to be a bonus for me because you actually get to do a bunch of stuff comparison-wise uh, to a bunch of things. Now, there's stuff like Marvel Superheroes for the Street Fighter. You can compare it to the Stone Collectible stuff, some Revolve Tech stuff, some X-Men versus Street Fighter. There's a lot of endless possibilities here, so we're going to start with just all over the place. Here is Ken next to another Street Fighter figure. Oh, sorry. Next to another SH Fig Arts figure, and it's Kamen Rider Kuga. The Renewal. So Ken's actually a little bit bigger than him, size-wise. Then we have him next to a Synthetic Human by 1000 Toys. So size-wise, Ken is in scale with other Japanese imports. Here he is next to an SH Fig Arts Iron Man, and I'm doing this for... Marvel superhero stuff, as you can see, wise, they're pretty much in the same scale. Here he is next to who can I compare him to next? An articulated icons ninja with a snake eyes head. So Ken's versus ninja is definitely possible. Articulated icons probably in about the same exact scale with him. Here is Ken next to his other counterpart from Storm Collectibles, and the Storm Collectibles one is going to be gigantic compared to him. So as you can see, the looks and comparison-wise, they're completely different. Next up, we're going to compare it to Revoltech Wolverine. So we Revoltech Wolverine about the same height, only because of the pointy ears, so otherwise Wolverine would be a little bit smaller. But here's a Marvel Legends Wolverine, just for you guys who just collect Marvel Legends. As you can see, Wolverine's a little smaller. Then we're going to compare him to a Marvel Legends Spider-Man. You all know Spider-Man's a pretty tall guy. Well, 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 close to 6 feet. And here he is next to a Revolt Tech Spider-Man for those you collect imports. Like I said, there'll be a lot of comparisons. The reason why is because with Street Fighter, you can actually do a whole lot. Street Fighter wise, like guys, the, the franchise, it's it's seen and done a lot. So I can see this definitely being one of those. This is one of the, where you significantly cross over a ton of lines with Street Fighter because it's either happened or you've seen it or there's some sort of fan art. So everyone's gonna want to know and enjoy these figures. Here's uh, Goki, Ken, and Ryu all together. So as you can see, size wise, Goki's a little bigger and buffer. Really nice stuff. Next to Chung Lee and Cammy. I gotta find my Armika. I don't know where she went. So, this is next to Chung Lee and Cammy. And those, for those of you playing mobile games, here he is next to a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers SHF. He's a little bit bigger. Here he is next to Rashido. Rashido is just a little bit bigger. Next up, uh, Mezco, Captain America, because we haven't compared him to a Mezco yet. Oop. For those of you that collect domestics from Marvel Legends, here he is next to a Marvel Legends cap. Marvel Legends cap is quite a bit bigger. And last but not least, just for fun, I just wanted to throw this one in there, compare him to the Hulk. Again, for some Marvel Street Fighter stuff. I don't even think I have a Marvel Legends Hulk anymore, but yeah. In case you want to get your Hulk on. All in all, I like Ken. Um, just like I like the Storm Collectibles Ken. I think it's one of those things where it's a matter of preference for shot and focus and things like that. But it's really great to see them continue in the line because I thought it was dead for a while. But it's good to see it go on. Um, can't wait for Sakura next. In the meantime, guys, hope you enjoyed. Hope you found it informative. And most of all, I hope you do good. Be good. Drink your water, guys. Later.